OK, so we're looking at the exponential section. I'm going to graph y equals 2 to the x. So x is the exponent. It's now the variable, of course, but it's in the exponent. OK, so how about this? So 2 to the power 0. When x is 0, well, when anything to the power 0 is 1. So actually, it doesn't matter what the base is, whether I do 2 to the x or 3 to the x or 10 to the x. When x is 0, y will always be 1. OK, so how about when x is 2, sorry, x is 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2, so that point there, OK? Uh, 2 to the power 2 is 4, and 2 to the power 3 is 8. So you can see it's increasing exponentially. That's what I mean, it's getting quite quickly, OK? Increasing quickly. Now, how about negative um, exponents? So how about 2 to the negative 1? When x is negative 1, well, that is the same as, remember, 1 over 2 to the positive 1. So that is, oh, I'll finish those off there, 8, OK? This is 1 half. So thinking about it, OK? 2 to the power 1 is 1 over 2 to the positive 1, which is 1 half. So how about 2 to the negative 2? Well, that's 1 over 2 to the positive 2, which is 1 fourth, OK? And 2 to the negative 3 is 1 over 2 to the positive 3, which is 1 eighth. So I'll plot all those. Harder to plot over here on the left-hand side of the y-axis, but anyway, when x is negative 1, y is a half. Uh, when x is negative 2, y is a fourth. When x is getting closer and closer, getting closer and closer to the x-axis. Right, I'm going to draw this. OK, now I've got to get closer and closer. Now, I'll never touch the x-axis. I've got to get closer and closer, OK? Um, again, because think about it. When x is negative 4, that'll be 1 16. It'll keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller, OK, as x gets more and more negative, but it will never get to 0, OK? So that is y equals 2 to the x. That's the exponential graph. 2 to the x, OK? Now, I'm going to look at transformations um, on the next slide because what this is, is really, all I've done is taken the same graph and moved it down 3. So let's have a look at the next slide. OK, so here we go. Um, if the horizontal asymptote here, OK, is the x-axis, or y equals 0, remember, I cannot touch that. I get closer and closer, like the previous slide. OK, if I'm going to move it down 3, I'm going to do this as a guide down 3, OK? Now, remember, every single time I have a um, base of, let's say, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the power x, anything to the power 0 is 1, OK? So if I'm going to move that down 3 on this graph here, that's going to now become here. Now, remember, when x was 1, y was 2. So if I move that down 3, that's going to be here. Remember, when x was 2, y was 4. So that's going to move down to there. When x was 3, y was 8. So that's going to move down to 5. OK, so, and again with all of these, um, these, again, down here will get closer and closer to the y equals negative 3 asymptote this time. Not the x-axis, remember, I moved it down 3. So I will have something like this. Try and get closer and closer, but don't touch, OK? Something like that, approximately. Again, approaching that y equals negative 3 horizontal asymptote, OK? So that is just down 3. Now, how about something like this? Again, if you remember your um, transformations, again, the plus 2 means it's going up 2. So I'm going to draw my horizontal asymptote at y equals 2, OK? Now, remember what this means? When you've got negative 2 as parts, if we do that in, say, parentheses, OK? That is 2 to the, what is it? 2 to the right. Yeah, 2 to the right, OK? So I'm going to move that 2 to the right. Uh, so, again, remember, instead of a point here, I'm going to go 2 to the right and up 2, OK? Uh, is that right? 2 to the right and up 2. So everything. Remember, when originally there was a point here, I really shouldn't be kind of doing this because I get confused with too many uh, um, points here. OK, so um, that's going to be that point there. So what it's going to look at is going to be something that looks like this, OK? Again, because, remember, I moved everything 2 to the right and up 2. Remember from transformations. So, again, that is just, oh, if in, you know, if in doubt, of course, just do some more, you know, points, whatever you want to do, and see what it comes out to be. Okay, so that is just transformations of the y equals 2 to the x graph, just up and down, uh, left and right, okay?